Then watch your sides. Right, so what we did is we go ahead and we put our bumper on our truck. What we have here is we have a receiver that we're also putting on. So I go ahead, went ahead and put that on. If you don't, it's the same process, but minus the receiver. Put your uh, four 12 millimeter bolts in loosely. Okay, don't tighten them down all the way. Then we're gonna come underneath our truck. We have an E-plate and an upper spacer. This will go pointing outwards towards the truck and I've already got it in here, but basically you put the uh, other, you take out your OEM 12 millimeter bolts and then you're gonna put the bumper on, tighten those back down. These are the first two that you tighten down both sides. But you have to put that east plate in between the bumper and the frame and it slides in right that and the bolt pattern is going to be just like that so your 3 8 bolts will feed up through this these two holes and your 12 meter 12 millimeter bolts will fit in this spot right here so your e plate goes in between your bumper and your frame below and the e part goes to the outside of the vehicle and the 3 8 bolts go up through the captured hole. And then you have your upper spacer that goes above the bumper between, and I put some green paint on it here. So your upper spacer will fit between the bumper and your frame right there. You just slide it in and then we're gonna tighten down our uh, 3 8 bolts and it'll hold it in place good and snug. Now you want to tighten down the front one first and then come back and do the rear bumper. Now all these trucks are, could be slightly different as far as the body sitting on the frame. So the alignment of the bumper can be adjusted. So this is where the adjustability in your bumper is by tightening these down right here. And your bumper, will, you can move it back and forth just slightly. There's enough adjustability built into these feet to where you can move it back and forth just slightly. 